Hi guys, Tech James here. In this video, I will be unboxing and reviewing the A8 Retro Arcade. So you might recognize this thing. It's actually made by the same people that make the Retro Mini. I've made a few videos on this. And this is basically the arcade machine version. So it's like a mini arcade machine. It has 3000 ROMs built in. It has like AV supports. So you can plug it into your TV. It also has a micro SD card reader. It also has 16 gigabytes storage and the screen size is 4.3 inches. Now if you guys like the look of this during the review, um, I will leave a link to buy one in the description. This was actually sent to me by Tom Top. Um, they sell them over on their website and there's currently a discount and if you buy it within 30 days, um, you can actually get 52% off. So I'll leave a link to it in the description. If you like the look of it, you can go and check it out. But anyway, let's just start unboxing it. So let's just have a look at the box quickly. This is what the back looks like. As you can see, it labels everything. So you've got the joystick, uh, we've got the buttons on there. It has the volume at the side. Um, this is the back of it. So it's got um, USB port, AV out, power. I will be showing you everything anyway. And there's the micro SD card slot. Um, that's pretty much it, I think. You can also get this thing in quite a few different colors. Um, so there are all the colors down there. Mine is the red and black edition. And there's just some more information on the back if you want to read that. And it also comes with two controllers. So you can actually play um, multiplayer on this thing. So it's pretty much a games console that you can plug into your TV as well as a handheld. So let's unbox the actual console right now. Okay, so let's see what we get inside of the box. So the first thing in here looks like the instructions manual. I never normally check these because they're fairly simple. Um, but yeah, there is one in here if you want to read it. Here is the AV cable we get. So this is if you want to plug it into your TV. Um, these three will go into the TV. And then this one here will go into the back of the console. We have got, oh, this is what you use to power it. So you can either power it using batteries or you can plug it into your wall uh, using this mini USB adapter. Now it looks like the controllers. We can take a look at them now. Let's just open one of them. We get two of them. So you can play games like Street Fighter and other multiplayer games um, with someone else. And they're actually USB. So I'm not sure if these will work on PC. I could probably test it out and see what happens though. Here's the second controller, exactly the same. Now we can just take the actual arcade machine out. So here it is, it's not too heavy, it's pretty light. As you can see, I got the red and black edition. It's also got a screen protector on, which we can just peel off. There is the badge Retro Arcade, which also has a mini screen protector on, which is kind of interesting. So we can just peel that bit off as well. So let's just take a quick look at it. This is what it looks like from the back. As you can see, pretty much what we already know, USBs, power, um, SD card, AV, and of course the um, on and off button. There's the side of it. These are all of the buttons, so we get select, start, Y, X, and L, A, B, and R. And here is the joystick that we get. So this is the back of it. If you did want to disassemble this, you would have to take these off and remove the six screws. Here is the battery compartment. I do not have that type of battery, so I'm going to be having to plug it in via the power. And it also has the speaker up here. There is also the volume um, scroll wheel at the side. Right guys, so here we are. It's exactly the same operating system as the Retro Mini. Um, I pretty much guessed it would. So we've got a few games on the home screen that you can just boot up. But what we're really interested in is the games right here. So if we press A, which is this button, we can go into simulation games. Yeah, so it's got everything on here. So we've got arcade. Uh, these are like Street Fighter games, like Final Burn Alpha games and stuff. 
if we go back Game Boy Advance apparently there's 3,000 games on this thing so there's probably like tons and tons of Game Boy Advance games so yeah we've got loads on here we will be testing out a few let's just go back um, FC I'm not quite sure what that is let's have a look Rockman Mega Man X MD that stands for um, Mega Drive then we've got um, FC I'm not quite sure is that Famicom I guess oh yeah so like NES games and then we've got Game Boy Color tons of games on here and you can also play your games off an SD card so if there isn't any games um, you like that are currently built in you can um, plug in an SD card and this thing does actually use a 16 gigabyte SD card as its main storage so maybe I'll do a video where I take that out and I'll show you guys how to add games to it or back up the games which are currently on here to your computer and then of course we've just got original Game Boy so that is the complete ROMs library pretty good and um, it's also got transplant games I'm not quite sure what that means so we're gonna have a look at this real quick hmm maybe this is like the um, I have no idea what this is and we've also got TF games this is basically what's on your SD card so if you put a micro SD card in here this is what the TF games will be so let's go back we've got Music? Is this actual music? Okay, well, definitely not the music I'm into, but... Right, so what's next? We have got pictures on here. I'm not actually too sure what these are. Are they just random pictures? We can go back on that one. We have got the file explorer. This is where you can browse everything on here, which is pretty cool. So we've got games as well. You can browse through all of the game files. So if you did connect the SD card to your PC, this is pretty much what it would look like on your computer. And then the last option on here, we have got browser. So this is basically like the system settings. You can change your language, make sure English is selected, background settings. Um, I think we can change this. Okay, so we can change it to a different picture. I think the original one we had was probably the best on here though. Yeah, it definitely looks like it. Actually, let's just change it to that one. Font color as well. Change the font of it. We'll leave it how it is. Um, sound settings. Oh, so this is where you change like navigation sound. Backlight time. Um, it's set to always. Backlight settings. I think you can up it. Oh, you can. That's pretty cool. Uh, restore default settings. That's like factory set system info. So there you go capacity um, available capacity and the version um, TV out mode this is one you, if you want to connect to your TV select PAL or NTSC if you live in America and yeah they're all the system settings so now I will show you guys some gameplay using this and using the controller that I have right here and let's see how it plays now so let's test out some gameplay I've also just noticed something a bit weird if you look at the controller um, the buttons are different on the actual um, retro arcade than the controllers itself so this button right here on the controller is B um, but this one right here on the actual console is A so that's a bit weird uh, you could get confused but yeah just keep that in mind this is the A button and then this is the A button on the actual console so let's play some games let's play it with both and see what it's like I reckon it's probably better with the controller but we can try it with the joystick as well so let's play some Game Boy Advance games first let's have a look for something let's play Sonic Advance just to start off with Okay, so the first thing is the screen is very, very good with Game Boy Advance games. Right now, let's play some Sonic and see how it performs. So the joystick is okay. I'm not really a fan of joysticks. I always go for like analog sticks or controllers over it, uh, just because they're kind of weird to use. I don't normally use them, but it's definitely playable. Um, there's no problems with this. I can definitely play it. It might be take some getting used to, though. Um, games might be quite hard when you play this for the first time. But it's definitely um, not too bad. There doesn't seem to be any latency as well. It's pretty responsive, as you can see. So yeah, not too bad. Now what we should do is plug in the controller. Maybe try it on a different game as well. Uh, maybe something else rather than Game Boy Advance. And let's see how that works. Also, just to get back to the main menu, you can actually press Start and Select at the same time. It will bring up this menu for you. And you can scroll down and just press A on Quit. So now I've got my controller plugged in to the top USB port. So let's just play. And um, player one goes in the top and player two goes in the bottom one. So let's select on game. And let's see what we've got in here. Simulation games. Let's play some arcade. I think we're going to go with Street Fighter 2. So let's press A and let's boot this up.
So Street Fighter 2 does run very well in this. I think all of the games I played didn't really get much lag, which is actually really good. And I definitely prefer playing with the controller over the joystick. So that is pretty much it for this video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe. If you would like to purchase one, make sure to check out the link in the description. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.